Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. And much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. And salutations and blessings to the hopeful it, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Coming at you another lesson, and Lord willing is edifying. And man, we're truly living in, in some beautiful times. All right, our Lord Yahushai, one of the things he said to look for before his coming was earthquakes in diverse places. Right? So I did, did a, a simple Google search of uh, recent earthquakes and pulled up this information. Uh, what are the 10 most recent earthquakes? USGS, recent significant earthquakes from the last 30 days. All right. You got the 7.1, all right, happening in Japan. The 4.4 that happened in, uh, what is that, Grapevine, California. A 5.2 that happened in Lamont, California. A 4.9. All right, it happened in Barstow, California. See, a 4.5 in uh, Utah, a 6.4 in Canada, and of course the 5.1 that happened uh, in the middle of last week in Himla, uh, Texas. All right, well, this is what our Lord Yahweh said to look for, man. Let's play these videos, All right? Welcome back. We are following breaking news. An earthquake has just rattled Southern California. The quake was centered just northeast of downtown Los Angeles. NBC News correspondent Dana Griffin joins us now from California. Dana, what else do we know at, at this moment? Any reports of damage or injuries? Uh, not that we know of, uh, but it was a pretty good one that a lot of people felt. Again, 4.4 magnitude quake. We were sitting here in the Los Angeles Bureau. We could feel the rumble. A lot of people stood up. It almost felt like you know, many were wondering, is this what we thought it was? Because it was so quick. Usually they last a little bit longer, but you felt the rumble. You could see the lights in our, our news bureau shake, and then everything stopped. We are noticing that some schools um, started sending kids out of their classrooms onto a large field just in case, because this could have just been one of many to come. You've got local fire departments now out checking local freeways and and, and look and checking some of those buildings. A lot of them have already been shored up just to be to, to reinforce the protection because it's been known for for a while that California has been overdue for the big ones. So so they call like the, the mega quakes, which could be some eight to nine magnitude. We have not experienced something like that in so long. So I think when it comes to damage, no no, no major damage reported so far. And I think it's just more rattled nerves at this point. Zinclay, Kate? Absolutely. And of course, we saw a bit of South Pasadena just now, some emergency responders, but good to hear so far, at least sounds like not much damage. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media. A first of its kind warning across Japan Thursday for a long feared mega quake following a powerful 7.1 magnitude earthquake that rocked the country's southern coast. Reverberations felt for miles, caught on cameras in offices along the coast and at an airport. Please evacuate right now. Tsunami warnings issued following the quake, urging some residents to leave the seaside, but so far, injuries and damage have been minimal. Researchers have long warned of a mega quake, eight or nine magnitude, potentially even more damaging than the 9.1 that set off a tsunami in 2011 and ravaged Japan's northeast coast. The disaster, one of the worst in this century, killing more than 18,000 people leaving parts of the country in ruin, including a nuclear disaster at Fukushima that rattled the world. There was a magnitude 7.3 earthquake that happened two days before that earthquake. And about 5% of the time, we see that there is an earthquake called foreshock that precedes a larger event. Japan sits on the circumpacific belt known as the Ring of Fire, where tectonic plates meet, leading to lots of quakes and volcanic activity. 
The U.S. is Pacific Coast also on the ring of fire. Southern California just getting hit with the 5.2 magnitude quake Wednesday. Experts believe we should be ready for one of those mega quakes too. There's a lot of effort being put into preparing for such an event in terms of both the, the seismic hazard, the ground shaking, and the tsunamis. Preparing for what seems unthinkable, but might be inevitable. Dana Griffin, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories. What's two? There's a lot of effort being put into preparing for such an event. All right. And what you hear the talk is now, mega quakes, man. That's what the talk is, because these things are going to grow into their perfection. All right. But again, our Lord Yahushua gave us, you know, the blueprint of what to look for. Right? When he when he was coming back. Let's get Matthew. Chapter 24. Right? And verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So the disciples was inquiring of our Lord, you know, when would this rulership end? That word world goes into aeon, a eon, all right, a, a period of time. Ultimately, the age of Esau, man, it's an age, right? And we're, we're currently in that period of time, this damn devil's in power. So the disciples was inquiring, when would that age be over with? Keep in mind, they were in the Roman captivity, man. They were being heavily taxed, or we were being heavily taxed, right? So the disciples was wondering, when would these things be over with, right? And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And we're experiencing, you know, the the wars and rumors of wars, right? We We see those things playing out on a wide scale. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. We're seeing that. And there shall be famines. Yeah, the famine is growing. All right? We can go on and on about these certain food processing plants that burned up all of a sudden to BG, you know, Bill Gates buying the farmland, right, to the government telling these certain farmers they got to kill off their livestock. So we see the famine growing and pestilence. Yeah, it's a new COVID variant out, man, right? And earthquakes, see, and earthquakes in diverse places. And that's what we've seen, man. All right, those earthquakes in diverse places. Matter of fact, right? The 10 most recent earthquakes, and they're and the, and they just showing the ones of... Uh, what is it? A, a high magnitude, as they say, significant earthquake. So it could be, you know, some threes, some twos, all the way in this list, but they're not showing those, right? So you got earthquakes from Japan to Utah to Canada, you know, earthquakes in diverse places. California, you know, and our Lord Yahweh I said, all these are the beginning of sorrow. So it's just the beginning, man. Things are going to uh, ratchet up. Things are going to uh, get get crazier, as it were. Right? But we see. And we know what time and season we're in. Why? Because we're measuring the time diligent, matter of fact. Let's get that. Second Israel's. Chapter 9, and we'll start at the top. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, 
which I have told thee before, right? So we're measuring the times by way of the prophecies. All right, as we mentioned, the wars and rumors of wars, we see those things playing out. The pestilence, you know, we see the famine increasing. So the Lord said, when you should see these things come to pass, right? Which you have told us before, which is what prophecy, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? And uh, part of those things, the Lord uh, said he was going to visit this place with tempest, right? The flame of divine fire and also earthquakes, man. Isaiah 29, right? It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, see that? And uproars of the people in the world, which the uproars, you know, come in the fashion of Venezuela, right? Um, Bangladesh, right? You even had some uh, riots going on in France, man. These certain farmers, all right, that was with the, uh, with the EU, you know, that little Brexit. Well, guess what? Those those farmers in, in just about every country is revolting. I know I seen, uh, actually did a video on one for Germany, France, right? Uh, and there was one more who actually marched, the farmers marched on their capital, man. See, those uproars of the people in the world. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And that's what? Prophecy, man. All right? It says, for like all that is in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, right? Going to that word manifest, it means to be made clear to the eye or mind. So we seeing those things play out so we knew, know very well know what season we in, man. We're close to our Lord Yahweh Shai coming back. See? Matter of fact, what is that? Uh, second Ezra. Is that? Let's see. Second Ezra chapter 2. And let's see. Uh, bear with me. Yep, verse 34, 2nd Ezra 2 and 34. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen that hear and understand. Now, who are these heathen that hear and understand? Israelite foreigners, man. All right, we were once those heathen that can hear and understand, meaning grasp this truth, lay hold of it with the mind, man. Right? It says, look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest, for he is not at hand that shall come in the end of the world. See that? So we're now uh, <laughs> getting set, you know, for the approaching of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Those things he said to look for, which was one of them was earthquakes, man. And, and we're seeing abundance, I mean, an abundance of of earthquakes taking place across the world. All right? So, yeah, he is now at hand, man. You see? I pray this has been edifying. Only of all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, come to you in the lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.